springtime isn't far away now, and already the young girl's fancy is turning to thoughts of, well, spring shoes, among other things, a white satin evening sandal, so they tell me. Another bit of white satin, an evening faucet, I mean, pump, trimmed with silver kid. And here's another, an evening sandal of red velvet. And one for afternoon, a white kid sandal trimmed with red. All very nifty, really a fine display. The shoes are very nice too. Yes, indeed. Nope, it ain't no six day bike race. It's Babe Ruth doing a Velocipede Marathon. But if he doesn't take off a ton or two, he'll need a bicycle to get around the bases next summer. You'll take the works, babe, and like it. They don't pay by the pound, you know. Well, turnabout is fair enough. The babe gives his trainer a workout now. Watch it, babe. Look out for the old helium bag. That's his daughter Julia watching, and she acts as his second, too, when he needs it. Nice workout, old kid. Fifty thousand of Italy's black shirts gather in Rome to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the fascist militia. Mussolini reviews them as they parade smartly along the Piazza di Siena. He's proud of his troops and overlooks no opportunity to honor them. Many of the men here were among the thousands who followed him in his famous march on Rome back in 1922, when he forcibly took over the government to save Italy from communist rule. And Il Duce is not a person who forgets. Bravery and faithfulness to duty are always rewarded. Each year, a list is made out of those who have distinguished themselves in the service of Italy, and Mussolini himself presents the Medals of Honor. It's the crowning event of the day's celebration. Sir Malcolm Campbell, British Speed King, at last has finished tuning up his new Bluebird, and the huge monster is wheeled out for its first public showing. Sir Malcolm's just itching to get behind the wheel, but he'll have to wait. There's not enough room in England to do it. It weighs four and a half tons and has 2,500 horsepower. He and his son Donald are both proud of it. Sir Malcolm hopes he can make it do 300 miles an hour when he gets it on Daytona Beach sometime in February. You'll have to wait a while, Donald, before you can drive a car like your dad's. <laughs> 